those from the Los Angeles Police Department who are there in a capacity of evacuation. Uh, we do have some evacuation areas that are mandated and those that are being recommended right now. Um, also to the residents of those impacted areas, um, we are there to fully support them um, in this devastation and this tragic set of circumstances. Um, currently, the uh, Department Operations Center is activated at level two, which means all resources, uh, resource requests and needs throughout the city, including the area of impact, is going through our race revision. Also, we have been in constant communication with the EMD, the Emergency Management Department, uh, Arab Zahakian, uh, and I have spoken this morning, and we are currently at a level two, which means we are notifying all department general managers to be ready to assist the impacted areas with whatever city support, regional support uh, we can muster. So we are looking uh, forward to working together with the entire city family to provide timely and much needed support uh, to those impacted residents and businesses in the Silmar and Little Tahunga area. As we look at the uh, crime picture overall, uh, violent crime is up 4.7% citywide. Uh, however, when we look at last year to date, uh, we were at 10.3%. So great work that is being done uh, by the men and women of patrol and special operations uh, in the focus on the violent crime issues that we are experiencing. There's a reduction in the increase in crime. Property crime. But crime uh, is still up. Year to date, we are up 1.1%. But again, in comparison to 2016, we're up at 4.2%. So some good momentum, good coordinated efforts there as well. Part one crime in totality of 1.9%. And again, looking at comparatively 2016 numbers, we were at four, uh, correction, 5.5%. So again, um, we believe our focus, our connectivity between the Office of Special Operations and Operations is getting us the results that we are so hard, hard striving for. Homicides, uh, year to date, we are at 260. Last year, we were at 278. This shows a percentage decrease of 6.47%. Shooting victims, um, a huge focus for us and Metropolitan Division in over 600, uh, correction, 760 guns recovered year to date on traffic and pedestrian stops primarily. We are down 122 shooting victims year to date, um, and that's a decrease percentage-wise of 11.2%. In the area of rapes, uh, we are down 10.7% year to date, uh, but we are still finding ourselves challenged as a department in looking at aggravated assaults. Citywide, uh, we are up 5.6%. With regard to gang crime citywide, I'd like to share those statistics with you as well. Gang crime year-to-date down 7.7%, gang-related homicides down 1.2%, and gang-related shooting victims down 13.1%. With regard to traffic, as the department continues to work with our partners at the Department of Transportation and the Mayor's Office on Vision Zero, um, traffic collisions that have resulted in death are down 7% year to date. Uh, and my thanks uh, to Commander Ed Prokop, who has been working uh, significantly with Department of Transportation, both on the enforcement end and the engineering end, to look at speed surveys, getting up to uh, snuff with regard to looking at areas within the city that have experienced significant injury traffic collisions, um, exhibition of speed, uh, street racing, um, and collisions resulting in death. Um, the focus there has been very, um, very, very um, targeted in those areas of need. And that concludes my report. Thank you, Chief. Questions, Commissioners? Do we have public comment on the Chief's report? Yes, we do, sir. We have five.